Okay, this weird skirt lady is gonna get taken down. Either by sand or by me. It'll happen eventually. Uh, let's do extra sensory. Now you have too many senses. You have 18 senses of smell. There's no way you can defeat me. Oh, awesome. This thing flinched. Cool. Everyone's getting the Warren, Warren Buffett treatment. Perfect. And I should make that joke one more time, because really, it's funny as the third time. They do say third time is the charm. Who the hell said that originally? I have no idea. I would probably go back in time and stab them, just so that I never to say that stupid saying again. But I do say it, just because it's ingrained in my memory from all the other people in my life that have said it. There we go. Behamin, which sounds like a really weird behemin. Sounds like someone trying to say Benjamin my name, but like in a weird French or other thing. Behamin. Yay, I got $11,000. And by that I mean $1,100. I wish I wasn't so boringly regular. Me too. Seriously, where the hell are we going? Oh, there's actually a thing here. Oh, okay, never mind. There's actually some shit going down. So we're going to heal some people up. Thank God there's actually something going on in the desert. It's not just a fest of nothingness. Uh, we're going to heal Panda and Purr, and then we're just going to we're gonna take on this fight. Ba -ba -ba, let's get down to business to walk through the pillars. We've already paid you for the job. It's your duty to clear out the mines and desert of this monster. Heh, <laughs> darling, you just don't get it, do you? We just needed the money. We have no intention in fulfilling the contract. So you steal our town's fun, corrupt my favorite Pokemon, and decide to leave us to the earthquakes? You can even keep the Megastone involved in the job. We don't care as long as you get the job done. There's a Megastone involved. Well, I suppose we'll have to go take that Megastone, but we sure as hell ain't finishing the rest of that job. Some lazy workers. But you're the cops. You're obligated to fulfill your duty to the citizens of Aroma. Wait, you thought we worked for the king? You thought we worked for the government? Ha ha ha. You dumbass, we don't work for the king. We have spacesuits. We're Team Cypher, we work for Greville. Chow chow, Cypher out. Seriously, why does every enemy have teleporting abilities? Where does it come from? Maybe they'll have rocket boots, actually. That that would make sense. Probably they have the funding to get, you know, Team Rocket boots. Ha, <laughs> get it? Team Rocket boot? No, never mind. Oh, I'm sorry to hear all that. As you may have figured out by the constant shaking of the desert, we're under siege. A Steelix has been digging around through the tunnels in the desert. It's where the massive sinkhole under the desert is coming from. People are constantly getting pulled under and buried alive. That's a bummer. I end up being alive, but I guess other people are dying from it. Our mines are too dangerous to stay in for too long as rocks constantly get dislodged and kill the miners. <laughs> this is a very bloody and violent story st uh, storyline for a Pokemon game. You're from the Vesperan region, I'm guessing? You may know the gym leader, PK96. He used to be a guard in our mines before his hard drive got damaged by a stray rock. Our town is running dry money inflow. This is a really intricate plot for some reason, as well Cypher took our last government grant. Can you help us, trainer? I need to protect the workers of the mine from the Steelix. I can hold it off, but not for long. I'm the gym leader here, so I'm strong enough to contain it, but the presence of the Megastone nearby has powered it up to terrifying levels. I'm going to keep talking over and over again. If you're willing, can you track down Cypher and stop them from getting that Megastone? Yes. Thanks, I would appreciate it. As far as I know, the Megastone is kept in a ruin in the southwest corner of the desert. You'll likely find Cypher there. I'll be waiting in the bottom of the Andromeda City Mine. That's what this... Oh! There was so much exposition here. Once you get the Steelix out, we may be able to calm it down. Or it'll turn into a Mega Steelix. Yes. What's up here? Nothing. I'm pretty sure... What's in here? I'm just gonna go in this town really quick. Oh, what's this? The Slaking is nicknamed Bread. Ha! Bread is loafing... God damn it, game. You have just as bad puns as I do. I'm an engineer. That means I engineer things and do engineering things. Cool. Uh, what's up here? Another house. Is this a town? I don't even know. I guess it is a town. I probably shouldn't be afraid of the people here, then. Hey, do you feel the waves of psychic energy radiating from around us? I thought so. You look like the kind of person who would. I got Dream Eater. Yay, a move I'll never use, probably. Follow your dreams. Thanks. That inspiration means so much. It's actually a Bibarel in a really convincing costume. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, no. Never heard that before. <laughs> that's actually, that's that's entertaining. I got me to chuckle there, game. That's a funny one. Uh, we'll go to the Pokemon Center really quick. And then talk to some people. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. You're welcome for waiting. 
Okay, what's what do you say, small child? I heard Moss, the gym leader here, killed someone because they disagreed with her. She's crazy. She chopped her head off with a. Seriously, these, this Pokemon storyline is getting darker and darker as it goes. It's gone from like plague to. It's worse. Moss chopped my head off with a drill. What? I got better. Uh huh. Uh huh. Sure you did. You're not all crazy at all. You're totally sane. A Steelix can Mega Evolve if it has Steelix Sight. It gains the ability Foundry. Foundry changes all rock type moves into fire type moves. At first, this seems like a bad ability, but I wonder. Does this affect the Stealth Rocks move? Can one set up Molten Stealth Rocks and normal ones together? The possibilities are endless. Maybe. Or they're not. I have no idea if that actually works. The tremors don't affect us here due to the bull like shape of the city. However, the tremors of earthquakes affect the mines in the desert, regardless of our town status. Cool. Sure they do. So maybe we have to fight the gym first? Here, you should have this. Rare candies. I, is that multiple? Use them wisely. How many did I get? Three. Ah, wow, three. Cool. I will keep those. I don't know where to use them, but... I'll probably forget about them. Uh, so I'm assuming... Is this where the people are? Oh, wait, hold up. Let's talk to this Pokemon Ranger. If they try to battle me, I'm not going to be happy. What do you want? It's actually surprisingly cold here in Andromeda City. Did you know that desert doesn't need to be hot to be a desert? Technically speaking, Antarctica is a desert because it's... that's a very cool science lesson. So cool I needed to hear it again. Very true. Cool. What's in this what's in this ruin? Is this where the team people are? Da -na. Um Andromeda Mines. Okay, we actually don't want to be in here right now because we're supposed to go get Team Cypher first. And the Pokemon are level 30, which is scary. Panda's very frightened right now, as you can tell. I think we're gonna body slam. Boom. Well, that does nothing at all. Although he, wow, he actually got the first paralysis from Panda. I guess Panda's put on some weight, so he can finally paralyze people just with his weight. Uh, vital throw. Perfect. Okay. Get rid of you. It's super effective. Hooray! We got a lot of stuff. Hot diggity dog. We're not going in here at all. Uh, we need to go find Team Cypher, wherever the hell they are. Uh, I'm gonna go to this. I'm gonna go to everywhere in the town first. So we'll go to this weird shack in the corner of town. I'm sure there won't be any serial killers and/or hermits in here. The hell? This Probabass has a stick stash. Yes, it does. Hey, would you like to trade for my binnacle? Uh, no. Not at all. No, I don't know what a binnacle is, and I don't want it. It's beatboxing. Cool. I'm beat getting out of here. Okay, so we, I think, need to be back in the desert. I'm pretty sure. Unfortunately, we need to go back into Quakeland. They said a ruin in the southwest of the desert. So, do we have a rappel going on? Let me just check. Uh, yep. Okay, we didn't, so that's good. Now we have one on. They said southwest, so... Who the... What the hell? Mommy? I don't want to... Oh, God, that's really depressing. Um. Wow. W when I defeat you and all your Pokemon are fainted, who probably would have helped carry you to safety, but now are going to just die next to you, I, w I might carry you to safety to one of the towns. Hopefully. Hopefully I'm nice enough that I'm going to do that. Whew, super effective. Vitally delicious. Oh, a Bibarel. That's the thing that guy wanted to trade for me. I do not want a beaver. I forgot that's what Bibarel was. Why the hell would I want a beaver? Seriously. And he's being very picky about what he wants for his beaver, too. Well, Panda seems to be wrecking this entire team. Seems to be working out pretty well. Not, uh, whatever that was that I didn't read. A Linoon? Oh no, another! Like a team of badgers and beavers. Probably like the pets that their parents gave them. And for some reason he takes all his pets on walks at the same time, in the desert. That's full of earthquakes and sinkholes. And also, not knowing the direction of anything in the desert, because you're a stupid kid that didn't bring a map. All these things and more are part of the quality parenting practices of people in the Pokemon world. Awesome, level 38. Uh, no, I won't switch. Uh, yeah, actually, let's switch out. I'm too lazy to heal Panda. We'll just go to mix up. He needs some levels. And he's got some long legs, too, so he should be able to do okay in the desert. 
because apparently long legs help you in the desert. I don't know. Whatever. Don't worry about that comment. Not important. Yes, for it. Die. Die in the face of the sand. And blazing things. What the hell? Oh, it was a critical. I was like, why the hell did that do so much damage? I mean, I know you're only four levels below me, but you're a tiny... Although, isn't Furret, like, the one Pokemon that looks tiny, but is actually enormous? I'm pretty sure that's, like, one of those weird Pokemon that's actually, like, eight feet tall. It's probably, like, four times the size it makes up. I don't know. That could be Chet made up, but I think if you look up the stats of Furret, he's actually an enormous Pokemon, which is kind of weird. Uh, no, we won't switch out, although the giant Furret uh, decided to take us out, which kind of sucked. Yay, experience! 42. Oh, Slash. Hot dog. I don't know if I want that. We will see. Probably Quick Attack, truthfully. That does 40. Slash does 70. Ember does 40. We really don't need Ember at all, actually. Quick Attack's always good just for a bullshit attack if we don't want to get hit by a fast Pokemon, but Ember, not so great. Please help me. No, nope, we're going to leave you in the desert. Goodbye, small child. Time to abandon you. Uh, that is something. There's a small hole indented. We need some kind of thing for that. Okay, um, this is actually all the time I have for today, but we did make some progress, so I feel less guilty. We actually met Team Cypher, went all the way around that town, talked to all those people, Got a ridiculous amount of story for some reason. There is so much shit going on. Okay, I'm going to run away from this guy. He's going to try No. Get the hell away from me, old man. I'm going to hide by this indent. Um, there's a lot of shit going on. There's a Steelix. There's stealing of government grant money. There's people who won't do their jobs because they're lazy. And also another team. Even though I don't know what they're... I guess they just wanted the money. But now they want the Megastone. We need to get the Megastone. We'll probably get the Mega Steelix. I don't know. Shit's going down. It's cool. When we come back next time, we're going to take care of all that. But until then, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys later. Hope you enjoyed. Bye.